But yeah, I mean, Polar Vortex went pretty well. I uh, sold a decent amount of comics, and you know, I uh, you know, I badly want to make more comics. I feel so when I went to Polar Vortex, you know, I uh, it was more artsy. Like there were more paintings and sculptures, and I guess art art as opposed to my like, comic art, and. I guess for the beginning, I felt like I probably just didn't belong there. I mean, it's probably just my imposter syndrome speaking, but I was kind of feeling, I guess, not so hot. And I think maybe it's may it's me over under under well under thinking my own skills as an artist, like. I belong. It's, you know, I'm an artist. I draw and be create just like anyone else. And I do indeed belong in an art space where artists make art. And I guess for a bit, and this might be just a just general, just comic reading, getting everyone else's silly, I guess, comic group or, you know, comics isn't a real art. I probably internalized that, you know, probably just I you know, just felt that the shame. And I'd say a lot of I'd say a lot of my life is just getting over that shame. Either feeling like I'm not a real artist or I don't really do work that is me. Or I'm not as far as I'd like to be. And a lot of those thoughts double and double as I get closer to my 32nd birthday, and that's this weekend. Oh yeah, it's kind of weird, because it's like, 32 was still pretty young, but still 8 years from 40. You know, you're, you're not as chipper and dapper as you'd like to be. And it gets harder and harder to wake up in the morning where, you know, you used to be able to, you know, do all nighters and then you'd go to sleep at one in the morning, then wake up at three in the morning, just still full of energy, flat out power nap. And right now I'm, I struggle to get up in the morning for work, which is why tend to end these streams around nine or so. But honestly, I'm I'm not gonna fret it. Time waits for no person and the only thing I can really do is just manage my time better, you know. Just do better, make my time just a little bit more worthwhile, try to be more in the moment. And I'll admit I have been feeling I've probably been feeling a little I think I've been feeling a plateau art wise kind of I mean I'm tackling projects I'm working on things I'm working at uh working on animations of course you know this game animation thing I should probably at least get to that I got a game animation it's working I haven't worked on it since last week because I've been doing other art things. So I'm doing that plus doing convention stuff to kind of just scrounge up money. Uh, I'll just you know, make a living. And it's, uh, you know, I'm making it work. And those are positives. I need to spin this positively. Make this feel positive, feel good type of stuff. And kind of just feel like you're making things work. I'm making money. I'm going to shows. And people have been starting to recognize me from various different art shows. You know, going to different conventions. You're going all over the state of Illinois. And... As you do all these shows, you tend to meet 
repeating the people who recognize you from other shows. As there are a few who recognize me from uh, Naperville Art Show and, uh, what's it, Aurora Alley Art Fest and visits to C2E2, though I still have a table at C2E2, but now there's also that, Anime Central, and just making that, making those little bits of work help get my name out there. So that's a positive. I do need to think positive. And a, a lot of, uh, I think a lot of the other things, anxiousness, anxieties, or whatever you call it, is me also trying out different stuff. I'm uh, currently writing, as in probably just teaching myself to write. I like an actual narrative. And I'm currently keeping track of a, you know, something resulting in a narrative. Like, currently I'm working on the, uh, I guess, the core story of Black Mass, even though that's not a priority. I mean, we have the outline. You know, Cole goes to an island, he encounters, you now he goes to the temple, finds the treasure, and then after he gets the treasure, he gets attacked by the bandits who steal the treasure from him and Cole has to get it back. That's the outline, so I'm good when it comes to just the events, like the time-to-time -time set piece events. Things like the outline and character interactions are still not as 100% as I'd like it. I'd like to have my own brand of humor with that. And a lot of that is just me exploring myself as a writer. And I think I've kind of just been scared to suck with most of this stuff where I'm trying to, you know, both learn the format of writing, but also try to see what do I like about a story that I want to do. like. What I, I drew the characters, so why did I draw the characters? That's kind of like that sort of thing where I like their designs, but outside of tiny, I guess, stereotypes or archetypes, there aren't really core stories to these character designs. They're just cool character designs. And that's kind of the thing that I've been worried about is I have cool character designs and that's all they really are. That's all they'll ever be. And kind of just coasting off the good art and not really memorable stories or a memorable, memorable characters with that. So that's a uh, personal that's a personal flaw that I care a lot about dealing with. But yeah, I uh, I want to do better characters, of course. But I need to learn how to write. And that's me kind of just getting over my own personal brand of... Am I good? Am I a good writer? Am I doing this right for you? And not like thinking about what I like as a person who likes things instead of appeasing to whatever permission gatekeepers that are, I guess, stopping me from achieving and seeing my destiny.